copies of, I think. Anyway. Hi. I just let you know that um, I saw a video from uh, Act 17 Apologetics and uh, it talked about uh, Muhammad and um, Islam, of course. I mean, they're, I want to tell you, they're really good at uh, exposing Islam and teaching Islam. And what I learned is, is that the Quran says that Jesus and his followers will be uppermost until the day of resurrection. They'll prevail and not be defeated. But they will be, as I said, they will be successful. They will be, they will be uppermost and successful, but will prevail to the day of resurrection. And I don't know about you, but when I talk to Muslims about the how I'm supposed to obey Quran 568 and stand firm upon the Injil, that I have no ground to stand upon unless I stand firm upon the Injil, and how there's Quran 547 that tells me to use the Injil to judge therein of the Quran, or be uh, a... Uh, no, it, it sounds bad if I don't do that, you know. But I tell you... Well, well, I tell you, when I tell Muslims I do use the Injil to judge there in the Quran and to stand firm upon, because I believe the Injil is the New Testament, they say, no, 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 the New Testament is not the Injil. The Injil is gone. You don't have it anymore. It's been corrupted. It, it no longer exists. But you know something? If that's true, if Muslims are right about the Injil being corrupted or lost, then we have a problem here because the Quran says that Jesus and his followers will be uppermost and prevail until the day of resurrection. And as far as I can tell, the day of resurrection has never occurred yet. And the Muslim Jesus that the Quran talks of and his followers are nowhere to be found. So I think that the Quran has really blown it here. Just by let you know that. Bye.